Hello, my pretties. <laughs> Welcome to your daily spirit message reading for Sunday, June 18th. This is the Steampunk Tarot. My name is Robin. Okay, so thanks for joining me here today. I'm just going to do a quick reading for you. I'm just going to tap into my guides and see what they have to say. Sometimes it's really lighthearted. Sometimes it's really stern. And sometimes like yesterday, like it was, it was a deep one. Okay, so I never know what is going to happen so I hope you guys enjoy the reading remember to like share and subscribe and I'll start pulling cards here for you so we do have the high priestess okay so I actually love this card um <clears throat> I don't see any high, other high priestess card like this so you could be at some sort of an impasse today where you just don't know what is going on with your life okay so you can see that the high priestess, she's got her crystal ball. Like she's obviously a very magical and in tune person. She's got some tarot cards there. So maybe you need some sort of spiritual enlightenment. Um, maybe it's time to get a reading or go for a Reiki healing or do something, you know, that maybe you wouldn't ordinarily do. Okay. Um, just to sort of get a different perspective. Okay. Okay interesting i'm seeing for some of you that you might actually want a pendulum reading which are really really cool and i don't do those but um just be really careful when you're looking for somebody that that does this kind of stuff you want to make sure that it's somebody that you connect with and um you can trust them okay so do you have the sun card here so i feel like there's some untapped resources within you that you're kind of burying okay you might not even be aware of it uh i'm gonna tell you guys something like ages ago i had a tarot card reading and she told me like i see you reading tarot and at that point in my life i was like i don't think so but then after my my great my grandmother passed away and she came to me like in a vision basically and she told me to start reading tarot and that was probably seven or eight years later and then I started. So, I mean, there could be something that a mystical person could see in you that you've never considered before that you could really start studying, okay? Or start watching YouTube videos about what is going on on that subject that they see you in. I'm getting something else, but it's outside of my vision. It's just sort of coming in closer. So I'll pull another card. So <clears throat> I've got that judgment card here. So this is what I'm hearing from my guides is that this is a talent that you had in a previous lifetime. And with the judgment card, it feels like there was a lot of judgment around that type of thing that was being done. Like, let's say if you're a woman, um, you know, it was something that was, it was not appropriate for a woman to be doing in that time frame. Like how, you know, women had to really struggle to become anything outside of being a housewife in a lot of cases. Okay, so this could be it's just an example, you know, it could be, you know, um, any sort of discrimination based on, you know, culture or spiritual beliefs or skin color. And it could be <clears throat> coming up in this lifetime and you could be getting sparks of intuition. I'm going to write that down. Hold on. But because there is sort of this remnant in your DNA that it wasn't permissible to do that or maybe there was the threat of being caught and maybe even you know people were persecuted pretty heavily you know paid a pretty high price so you could actually be holding yourself back i really think that somebody that could see into you a little bit and maybe see your future with the high priestess could help you uncover that and and you should be able to tell yourself that it's okay to follow whatever profession or whatever it is that you want to do in this lifetime because you know theoretically those boundaries don't really exist anymore so wow that's what i'm getting and i'm gonna go <laughs> i'll see you guys bye